Hey guys, Jared Chunks 21 here. So, uh, not a common thing I do, but for those of you guys who don't know a little bit about me, uh, before I wanted to do, uh, local law enforcement, I wanted to be a behavioral profiler for the FBI. Um, and in doing so, I, I read psychology textbooks, I studied psychology, I even looked at several serial killers throughout history and did my research on them. And the most interesting one is also the one that is very unique on multiple accounts, and also, he's not exactly very well known. I know very few that actually know his name. The man's name. As Carl Panzerum, the true spirit of hatred, vengeance, and the personification of rage. Today we're going to go over Carl Panzerum and just what makes him an, a unique case to study. So to start off with, I'm going to give you a little bit of information about Carl Panzerum. So... I have a huge script typed out about it, so I'm going to be reading off of it. I've got the Word document open on my laptop. Um, and that's unique. I don't normally write a script, but due to the nature of this video, I decided it's probably best. So here's the thing, guys. Uh, Carl went by many different names uh, because he was he went all over the U.S., even to other countries. Uh but, for the most part, he's known as Carl Panzerum. He has anywhere from 5 to 22 murders under his belt. The f government list and the biographies I've read at 22 deaths. What makes him unique is most killers have a MO, a men's operandi. It's how they commit their crime. For instance, BTK, Bind, Torture, Kill. Um, Jeffrey Dahmer, John Wayne Gacy, etc. Carl did not. Uh, his were truly inspired by his hatred of mankind entirely. Um, so, we're going to get into this. Now, for those of you guys that need to know this, this is incredibly graphic. There's a lot of graphic language in this. Um, the joys of having a non-monetized channel, and I know it's odd going there, is I can actually tell you everything without having to worry about getting in trouble with YouTube. I, I feel it's important to discuss this man, because this man was partially a product of his own, of genetics, by his own terminology, and partially a fault of the early American justice system, 1920s to 18, late 1800s -ish to early 1930s. So let's get into it. Um, so yeah, if you're squeamish, you might want to turn away. And for those of you guys who are wondering, he used multiple different means of killing people. Um, there's a couple of times he bludgeoned people to death, he shot people, etc. So here we go. Born Charles Panzerum to John and Matilda Panzerum in East Grand Forks, Minnesota. They were Polish immigrants in 1892. Carl Panzerum was one of five children, and even at a young age, he felt odd. This manifested in many criminal activities. By to skip through them all, there was many. Most of his early life was early uh, small thefts, etc. By age eleven, Carl had been sent to the Minnesota State Training School for what is today a few cases of petty theft and stealing a neighbor's revolver. He was sent there by his parents. There he was subject. Subjected to beatings, torture, and rape, truly earning the school its nickname of the painting house. This was due to the fact that children would leave their would leave their painted with bruises and blood. By age fourteen, Carl had ran away from home to ride to ride the rails as a hobo. 
It was then that he claimed he was gang raped by a group of hobos. The reason it is claimed is because there is no evidence of it. It's just what he says happened. At the age of 15, while intoxicated, he enlisted in the United States military and was then commi caught committing a larceny. And sentenced by then Secretary of War, uh, he was sentenced and it was signed by Secretary of War William Howard Taft to serve his time in Leavenworth Prison. Carl later went on to say that any good inside him was destroyed during his time in Leavenworth. Those of you who don't know, even to this day, Leavenworth is considered one of the worst places a prisoner can go to. At some point, Carl went back and burned down the, paint the painting house, the Minnesota Trading School. After getting out of Leavenworth, Carl burglarized Taft's home, stealing jewelry, bonds, and Taft's personal 45 caliber pistol, using it in several shootings. Pandrum himself even stated in his own autobiography that he was rage personified, an understatement. He soon would start a massive crime spree. Carl himself claimed all cases of him raping any males was to submit his dominance, not out of homosexual desires. Sometime after burglarizing Taft's home, Carl would relocate to New York. There he planned to scuttle a British ship and start a war between the United States and Britain, though this never came to pass. In 1920, Panzerm made his first step from theft to murder by, kill by getting several New York sailors drunk and raping and killing them before dumping their bodies in the river. He then later got aboard a ship and set sail, but it soon shipwrecked near Atlantic City, New Jersey. He, reloc he relocated somehow to Luanda, Angola, I apologize for any mispronunciations, where he raped an 11 or 12 year old boy. He was quoted as saying his brains were coming out of his ears when I left him, and he will never be any deader. It was, he said this after killing the boy. Later he hired a rowboat before killing the rowers and feeding them to crocodiles. Soon after his Angola crimes, he returned to the, st to the United States committing his last five murders, two involving the rape and murder of young boys, one he beat to death with a rock. He also claimed to have shot a man for attempting to rob him. In 1928, he was sentenced to the murder of the young boys and befriended a guard who gave him writing supplies, of which Carl wrote some of his most famous lines. Quote, begin quote, In my lifetime, I have murdered 21 human beings. I have committed thousands of Burglaries, robberies, larcenies, arsons, and last but not least, I have committed sodomy on more than 1,000 human beings, male human beings. For all these things, I am not in the least bit sorry. Unquote. This wasn't the only thing he had to say. When sentenced to 25 years at Leavenworth, Carl told the prison, I'll kill the first person to bother me. This he did, killing a foreman in the prison laundry with an iron bar. This got called the death penalty, and he never appealed, even threatening, even going so far as to threaten human rights groups if they attempted to get him spared of the death penalty. When asked by his executioner his last words, Carl had this to say, Yes, hurry it up, you Hoosier bastard! I could kill ten men while you're fooling around! It is said Carl also is quoted at, it is also stated that Carl was quoted as saying, there are two things of which I regret. One is that I could not kill every damned human, and the other is that I have so I have harmed some few animals. Though this quote is not commonly listed or proven from my research. Now, for those of you guys that are wondering what I used for research, there is a web there, I used Wikipedia for the early stages of my research to figure out the name of the school that I knew he went to, which was the Minnesota school. So allow me to look this up. Um, let's see here. Uh, Murderpedia was the other one I used. I used Murderpedia and Wikipedia. So if you guys would like to go out 
and do your research on Carl Panzer, might I recommend looking him up. He is an interesting case. As a profiler, you know, he admits himself that even he realized at a young age, something was different about him. Truly, it's hard to say, because when you look at Carl, he says himself that he felt something was wrong about him at a young age. But he's later stating towards the end of his life that every violent act he did, he learned through being imprisoned and being punished. Now, this is, this is definitely one of those things where it calls into question. The reason I feel that Carl gets pushed to the wayside compared to John Wayne Gacy, Jeffrey Dahmer, all of the others, is there's not a clear-cut case. With the others, you have nature versus nurture. Carl is both. His nature was that of a criminal. I think his youngest crime he committed at six years old, a theft. But... His violent crimes, he's quoted as saying he learned in prison from being beaten, tortured, raped. Truly, Carl was a scarred individual. He had a true hatred of humankind. And that was his justification for everything he did. He wanted to kill every human being. So I hope you guys, I'm not going to ask if you enjoyed this. This was a dark man. I whitewash a lot of this to make it less graphic. But feel free to go look up and read on Carl Panzer. It is dark. And, you know, I can't justify his acts, but I do feel sorry for the hand he was given. Makes me sad that that was a time in American history that this was allowed to happen. So, feel free to leave a like and comment. If you guys want to see more of these biographic style videos, let me know down in the comments. Only way they're going to get done. See you guys next time.